Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's campaign has been dealt another embarrassing blow, with Rockhampton's Labor mayor quitting the party to run as an independent. Margaret Strelo's move is likely to split the Labor vote, and she didn't even tell the Premier. Margaret Strelo, well-known mayor of Rockhampton, now running as an independent candidate for the state seat. We need someone who can take our messages to Brisbane and I am putting my name forward. It blindsided Anastasia Palaszczuk and Mackay. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that. I'd, I'd find that surprising. But came as a gift to the opposition. Really, we've known for the last three years that Labor has been a disunited, muddle-headed rabble. Ms Strelo was the Premier's pick for the seat of Rockhampton, vacated by Bill Byrne, who's retiring for health reasons. But her bid to run for Labor was blocked in a factional brawl. Instead, locals chose Barry O'Rourke. You're the candidate she didn't want. Oh, rubbish. She's here beside me now. Yeah. Ms Strelo denies her move is sour grapes. No, I certainly don't wish the Premier ill, but it may well be that this is a balance of power seat. It will see her expelled from the Labor Party, but she insists Rockhampton needs a strong, independent voice. I appreciate that there are other regional centres, but it doesn't exactly cheer our heart when yet another thing is done for Townsville. Sorry, Townsville, love you, but, uh, but this is Rockhampton. Ms Strelo's bid will split the Labor vote in what is historically a safe Labor seat. It's likely to come down to preferences. But the timing couldn't be worse for Ms Palaszczuk, who was just coming up for air after the Adani controversy. She tried to get her campaign on track, unveiling a $1 billion a year state federal plan to fix the Bruce Highway. The backbone or the main artery of Queensland. Under the deal, a new trust would collect state and federal money and prioritise the major projects. The Premier's promised $175 million to get things rolling, $200 million annually, to be pooled with hundreds of millions more from the federal government. Right, ready to go? Okay. The LNP leader kept a lower profile in the southeast, visiting a furniture factory and a steelmaker, repeating yesterday's pledge to cut power bills for homes and businesses. And about a 10% saving on the cost of power. And for small businesses, every bit counts. Protesters and billboards. <laughs> Mr Nichols will take to the air for the regions again tomorrow. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Toowoomba.